After the Packers-Lions game yesterday, Tom Brady spoke with Fox and gave some of his thoughts on the Packers-Lions game, basically what he saw. So let's hear what he has to say here about the Packers. All right, joining us right now is the guy who called the game for us today on Fox, Tom Brady. Hey, Tom, thanks for joining us, first of all. Hey, you guys nice and cuddly in that warm studio? Uh, yes, we are. are. Nice, no cuddly, way. and dry. Six straight win for the hey, Lions. Are they the best team in the NFC right now? Absolutely. They just, the way they're winning these games, they run it on the ground. They've got incredible backs. The play calling, the offensive line sets a tone. We all thought today, coming into these conditions, it's a brutal game out here. The wind was nasty. It was raining, slippery field. It didn't look like that for the Lions today. They did nothing today other than execute the plan. They played with the lead. Great complimentary football, <laughs> like all around win for this team. That was one of the best I've seen all year from them. Yeah, Tom, Jimmy here. Uh, you know, you really, you look at this, it's a bad weather game. You had a lot of bad weather games up in New England. Did you have something that you didn't like or you felt like was an advantage for you? Yeah, I think so much of what I saw today from this style of offense they played, so much of it comes down to play calling as well. It's play design, it's play scheme, it's communication, and then ultimately it's execution by the players. There's, you don't want to put yourself in too many high level of difficulty plays in this environment. And that's exactly how they, the Lions ended up playing. They got a lead. They played on their terms. They ran the ball. They booed. They got out of the pocket. Goff had some wide open throws. And he, yes, he made some very clutch throws, certainly the fourth down uh, throw and catch to Amon Ross St. Brown for the touchdown. But it's the exact opposite of the way the Packers played. They didn't play complimentary football. That touchdown before half was an absolute game, uh, backbreaker for this for this team. So they got to clean those things up. Green Bay does, and Detroit just has to do more of the same. Hey. The biggest difference in this game was the fact that the, the Packers didn't play clean football. Ton of mistakes, ton of drops, ton of penalties, pick six. The Lions, Jared Goff played a very efficient game, only passed for 145 yards, but he didn't throw an interception. The Lions barely had any penalties uh, besides, you know, a couple from uh, Branch, of course, getting ejected. But all in all, the Packers just played a sloppy game. The Lions played a clean game. And when you have a team that wins a turnover battle, isn't making a ton of silly mistakes all game, dropping passes, dropping touchdown passes, dropping first down conversions. I mean, the, the team that plays the cleanest football in a situation like this where it's raining, that's probably the team that's going to win. And that was the Lions in this one. Hey, Tom, Terry here. You know, I, you haven't seen Washington. You haven't seen Daniels up close yet, have you? That's, that'll be fun when I you finally not. get to see him, man. It, it's pretty impressive what they're doing. I, and so if, go, if I talk about quarterbacks, I was a little surprised that Love played in the second half considering his injury. He played okay, but I thought there were times where it looked like he really shouldn't be on the field. Your thoughts on that? Yeah, he was definitely feeling his groin. You could see it on a few of these throws up here from the booth. But there's an element of toughness that I think you always want to display as a quarterback. And I would never take myself out. If the coach wanted to take me out in a game like that, you know, okay, I'm cool with the coach doing it. But I was never going to decide to do that. You always want to be out there for your teammates. And quarterbacks, we don't have that much ability to, to show a toughness in a way that so many other positions do the only way we can display consistent toughness is being out there with your team fighting to the end so I do appreciate that element of Jordan hopefully he takes the bye week to heal up feel as good as he can for this you know second stretch of the season that they got coming up and, and I was listening to Jordan Love's post-game press conference and they asked him about you know how is it feeling how did it feel during the game was it bothering you and he said it wasn't and I'm fine so he was clearly trying to not make any excuses and you have to, you know, give him credit for, you know, not, I mean, he could have easily said it was bothering him because it was, but he didn't say it was, it clearly was, um, but he was willing to be, be tough out there as Tom Brady said, and Brett Favre for so long played through so many different injuries, but I think in this kind of scenario where, you know, you clearly see in the first half that Jordan Love was struggling when it came to scrambling and, you know, when you have an injury like a groin injury, those are ones that can, you know, flare up, get worse, just as it did last week as Love continued to play through it. And given the, the weather, given the situation, I do think it would have been smarter to put Malik Willis in because he was healthy. He could have run around a lot more and you could have hopefully saved love to where he doesn't, you know, continue to struggle with this in the next couple weeks. There is a buy. I think the Packers really need to focus on making sure Jordan Love is fully healthy because if he continues to have to play through these injuries that are really, you know, not allowing him to be the, the quarterback he really can be when it comes to his scrambling ability, things like that, then... 
It's going to be tough for the Packers to win games against really, really good teams. That is going to be it for this one. If you guys want more Packers content, feel free to subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys next time.